Hello everybody. I haven't done this for for a while, but uh, you know because I met Drock and Gary V in Singapore last week, so uh, I got excited about this again. I actually didn't do these vlogs because of the time, because I was focusing on many other things and uh, also focusing on finishing my school and stuff, and so I was pretty pretty busy with that and uh, you know editing was the biggest problem for me I was spending my all weekends uh, basically on editing before and so I just uh, wanted to take a break a little bit uh, kind of uh, but I'm on my way to Kunming right now for the first time so uh, I'm gonna do a short episode and let's see how it goes What's up, guys? Hey, how are you? Yeah. Roy, John Singh. <laughs> how is it going? Startup grind. Kunming uh, director. Yeah. yeah. So always called a spring city. Spring yeah. city. Yeah. So Kunming yeah. is a spring city. So yeah. that's why it's famous. Yeah, it's because the weather is always like spring. Okay. So now we are hustling in a coffee shop getting ready for the event tomorrow with these two guys. It's gonna be great, it's gonna be great. We just had a meeting with uh, one of the largest or maybe the largest uh, foreign media in town in Kunming and they're gonna support us, so cool. So this is some secret place that only local people know about. So let's see, some Kunming snacks. Ni hao. So what do you do in Kunming? So you eat local snacks, <laughs> like local food, right? Yeah. Local, local snacks means like little dishes and you yes. have a small plate yes. and you can eat yes. like a variety of food. So that's what we had yesterday. Yeah. We tasted a couple of them. Yes. Yeah. And then you go to see this lake. Yeah. It's called Dian Shi Lake. Dian Shi Lake. Yeah. And then what's the, what's the third thing that people should do when they uh, have some time in Kunming? Uh, if they want to go National Village, but we don't have National time. Village. National yeah, Village. Uh, yeah. Is it is it far away from the city center? It's close to here. It's close yeah. to here. Let me. I think National maybe, Village. Uh, about so yeah. one or two hours. Yeah. To spend on the we don't have time for that this time, so yeah. we are probably gonna do it next time. But that's yeah. the third thing that you should do, guys, if you're gonna if you're gonna come to Kunming. Yeah. So listen to, to these guys. No, listen to him. Shaman. Yeah, listen, listen, yeah. John Singh. Yeah, because welcome he's, you to Kumi. <laughs> he's the local. He's the local connector. Yeah. He knows. He knows people. <laughs> they decided to go to the villages at the end of the day. Um, Roy says, Roy says, Roy over there. You know, he <laughs> says that. He wasn't impressed by the lake. I didn't uh, say that. Yeah, so said that. He, he wasn't impressed, so we had to go to the villages so that Roy can actually see something on this trip because <laughs> otherwise he would be very, very disappointed. <laughs> so uh, we went there, took some pictures, and now we are going to the grind. So uh, we are meeting John from Hu Dongxing, who is our speaker today, and uh, then we are going to the venue, I guess, right? Yeah, sure. So, uh, Excited. Very good. Very good. Okay, guys, here in Kunming, getting ready for uh, our first event here. And I'm here with Yeret, right? That's, That's right. That's right. That's right. And so you're from Netherlands. I'm from the Netherlands. I run gokunming.com here in Kunming. Also, uh, have a company called Cloudbridge. And we do marketing, promotion, events, uh, design. But you have been here for like eight years, you said. Eight years, yeah. So he knows his way around. So if you ever go to Kunming, first search for Go Kunming. Is it 
gokunming.com or gokunming.com. Yeah, gokunming.com and also try to find him because I guess he knows everybody, especially in the in the foreign community, right? Know a few people. Yeah. <laughs> know a few people. <laughs> so uh, yeah, hopefully we can we can collaborate in the future. But uh, you know, keep an eye on Go Kunming. My friend John from My friend Hudong <laughs> <laughs> from Hudongxing. Uh, Hudongxing is actually is it number one or number two in China? The leading. Leading. Number one. Oh my god. Definitely. Number one, number one. event in platform Asia. in Asia. In number Asia. one event then, platform in, yes, Asia. in Asia. And this is the founder. Yeah. So we have him at our event in Kunming. It's everything is ready. So uh, it's gonna be really exciting. Yes. I'm super excited about your uh, experience yeah. sharing. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. I'm really exciting. So uh, if yeah, so just tell the audience, I don't know, some people watch it. So uh, you are expanding into Japan and Korea right now, right? Yes. What this are the, year, this yeah, year. the key markets? So, so guys, if you know some event organizers yeah. or some conferences or somebody who might use the platform in Japan in or Japan. Korea, yeah. just let me know and I will connect you with John because he's a great guy and amazing entrepreneur. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you very much for the introduction. What kind of advice do you have um, for entrepreneurs, organizers, and uh, different stakeholders to really work together and create a sustainable and collaborative community? Yeah, I, I think you mentioned it in, uh, or you kind of answered your question, you know, by, you know, from my experience from all around the world, but especially Asia, because in China, that's, you know, that's where my focus is, is that, you know, in many places, and especially in those uh, ecosystems that are just getting started, you know, there is a couple of communities, but they don't really work together. You know, they try to build something on their own because they try to maybe like be the first or whatever. And I think, you know, the magic happens when everybody starts working together. Like Silicon Valley is where it is because everybody works together. Every, you know, you go to Silicon Valley and you can attend a meetup tomorrow and people want to help. People want to help you to get in touch with investors, to get in touch with potential partners and stuff like that. So, so I think this is the, this is the key for every single community and city around the world that, you know, unite all the communities, the communities should be as open as possible and work together to achieve the same goal, which means develop the ecosystem. Cool. The, the biggest challenge is to find the right people like yourself, because, you know, China works a little bit differently, right? There is no Facebook, there is no Google, nobody really uses LinkedIn, even though it's here. And you cannot easily reach out to people like yourself. You cannot find those people online as you can in Europe, in the US, right? Every time I go to Silicon Valley, I can arrange 20 meetings just by, go, uh, just by going to Facebook groups or LinkedIn groups or LinkedIn, just search for people, right? But it doesn't work like that in China. And so, so the biggest challenge is that you need to be actually on the ground. You need to live in China. You need to contribute to the ecosystem, you know, build those relationships that are gonna help you to find people like yourselves, that are here on the ground, that you know, have the passion for what we do, it takes a lot of time. You know, it's, you know, we need to be patient, you know, and, and really try to localize as much as we can. Uh, find, you know, our teams, right? Like, I always try to have as many locals on the team as possible. Of course, we have some expats on uh, our teams, for example, Shanghai, Beijing, but we also have Chinese people, Chinese local, local entrepreneurs, because I don't think that it can work otherwise. Yeah. All right, all right. So it's a wrap guys, uh, amazing one and a half days in Kunming, pretty tired I have to say because uh, you know it was uh, on and on 
the whole weekend, but it was totally worth it because we met amazing sponsors, partners, attendees, potential partners, and the event, uh, as you could see, was uh, pretty amazing. So I'm super excited about the future of Startup Grind here in Kunming. And now back to, back to Shenzhen. So uh, great, talk to you guys soon.